I'll take you home. Island style represent. Oh, bro. Wait for the storm, David. It's for wet, man. Purmaya, it's a beautiful coral island situated in the central part of Torres Strait. We call him Kulkalga Nation. How good? Just a uh, last little fuel up and uh, we'll be taken off to Murray. Kerosene blue. That turned so strong. I see now the shoot is gone. It's holding on with you alive. Unfightable. We really tried to fight it. Good fish. We had a bit of excitement. And the first time dealing with some pretty intense currents. All in all, we had a good day. Hey peeps. How's it going, peeps? Good morning, peeps. So take Three on this, I think it is. Oh, peeps. This, I think, is my fourth take. Sorry. Eventually. Good morning, viewers. Uh, it's a lovely Saturday morning out here at Ashmore Reef. Boys are out trying to target species again. Let's go. But uh, if you want to check out the day, and the guys are in the water at the moment. Look at that. Turning into a beautiful day. What you got? First buffalo. Uh, shot at Ashmore here. It's done a drift along the reef edge. So buffalo emperor, eh? Buffalo emperor, yeah. Ticked it off. Uh, they're like bloody in plague proportions around here, so it's not that, not that extreme, but yeah. Happy for it anyway, check it off the list. Not a big one, but it'll do. Lovely. Boys said it wasn't so good at the other place. Pretty quiet. Um, beers got worse as well. Just sharks and bad beers and no fish. Hopefully this is a bit better. So we're moving, currents change. So maybe if we stuck around somewhere, the currents would change and suit bad conditions, but we're out here to explore. Oh, yeah. Go and find some stuff. We decide to go and explore a new area and to look for an isolated pinnacle along the way. And we found it. There is a pinnacle here, right up there. So it's real deep and then it comes right up shallow. This could be pretty promising. We can work either side pretty quick. This will be fun. But it's coming up now. There's a sounder. Not quite two meters though, like it says, but it's so eight percent there. So we'll come up on it. Got bait there already. Oh yeah. Looks very promising. Oh, look at that. It comes up to two meters, all right? Five. Look at that. From the deep blue. Straight up. So the pinnacle wasn't any good and the tides aren't really that good as well at the moment. So we're going to make our way to a new anchorage tonight so we can push out to boot reef tomorrow. We're just going to save fuel by trolling so we're just running pretty steady. The boys are making some lunch just behind me with the table set up. Straight on the lure. 
<laughs> uh, two hours later. Eventually. Got a bit of color now. Oh, 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 oh. Macro, macro. Ah, nah, sharky. That's a, that's a big, big sharky. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Just jump in, Bobby. You jump in, Bobby. Bobby, you jump in, you f***ing. <laughs> We're not much fishermen, but... <laughs> Hold it up there, Dan. Down a bit, down a bit. That's a big sharky. That's a nice one. Wow, gave you a workout. As we arrive to the eastern side of Ashmore Reef, the guys take the chance to look for the vermicular trout while the currents are slow and about to turn. This is one fish Nabs and Rory have been wanting to get. Uh, so finally, after hours of diving, uh, back ledges and searching for the high fin trout or vermiculated, finally come across one. It was swimming along the sand, luckily, and uh, yeah, end up getting a good good holding shot into him and he wasn't going anywhere, so finally uh, ticked that one off the list. That's a very big bucket list fish for me. The tides have now changed and it was time to make our way to the outer ledge where it drops down to 1,000 meters so we can drift in for some pelagic fish again. straight to the pack then. Probably 25 kilo doggy uh, rip off the rip off Rory shaft just then. Yeah, smacked it straight to the pack then. Uh, but just strung it with my spear and I guess I missed the hard stuff. 
and just must have taught all the way out through the wire. Just a bit further away, maybe this shaft would have done. Would have stayed in. Fish are active at the moment, so um, we're on. first got in the water was dirty probably like 15 meter biz um, but we kept pushing and each drip the water got clearer and clearer and we started to get a little bit more action and then about eight drifts in we got uh, a double hit I came down and shot this little dog tooth and another mackerel come in two trout species in here Passion fruit and high fin with some coconut rice, mutton rice, aka okay, rice. You look there. This is our little setup in the boat. Got all the sides enclosed to keep out the rain. Big bobby there. Good night. It's uh, Sunday morning. We're about to start. Our anchorage was literally a couple of hundred meters away from where we we're about to, to dive in. And then there's a bit of a little gutter um, that we're going to check out. So hopefully the tides are right and we'll just work through that gutter on a top ledge coming up on that pressure point. Um, we got a little bit of action, but no big dog tooth yesterday. So hopefully this one is gonna be a little bit different. Hopefully we get the right conditions for it. So the water can be very dirty, um, just because the currents can be so turbulent. We can get up to 15 meter viz, or down to 15 meter viz, or we could get up to 50 meter viz uh, here. So we'll soon find out. What was that big? against tide. Yeah, pretty gnarly. Bit of a roadblock again. So we had an air leak before and it's starting to leak again. We tried to tighten it all up, but it's still leaking because the inside washer is broken. So we're just doing a bit of, well, it's not bush mechanic, but ocean mechanic job. Got a bit of silicon tape. Hopefully you can block it all up. Because at the moment the motor's not running right, it's, not, it's getting air in the fuel. So we're going to try and fix it and get back out there before the fish go away. Even with the morning challenges, we still have some laughs. What are we going to get? Mackerel? Dog tooth? Everything. Everything? Everything. Okay. Alright, let's see, let's see. So we've bellied up, flashing up, and I've gone down to shoot a job fish. And this shark, probably only this big, has come out of the blue eating all the burley and then it's eyeballed me and I had a go 
like up for me, had a guard me and I've flooded it with water to get it away. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> this shark was this big and smaller than a job fish that was super <laughs> Although we were in a very remote area, we still came across some plastic and debris in the ocean to pick up and take home so it wouldn't affect the environment that we love. As we wait for the currents again, we move back south to one more area so we can finally explore the whole reef over the years of coming here. We have found all areas to hold good fish, but some were harder to land due to the things like shark size and numbers, the terrain causing extreme currents and snagging our lines when the dog tooth run down a sheer cliff. Hopefully, in the last small window of opportunity, we can find a spot that creates a good pressure point, bringing up the nutrients for the bait fish and bring in the pelagic fish we came here to hunt. Knowing that the tuna swim around the rise, I hang mid-water as we drift into the saddle waiting for my opportunity. A small dog tooth swims by, but as I turn my camera on, a larger one passes straight to the flasher. Bobby works the flasher up and down from the surface and the tuna can't help but turn back. Up until now, Rory has faced the challenges we all do of hunting dogtooth tuna and was yet to put one in the boat for this trip. Even though he has landed a solid one just weeks before now, the team wants to leave on a high and set the final task of getting Rory a dogtooth to take back for the community.
just came in and same down he turned and gave me a shot and just shone through through the top. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Phew. Big boy on top of the reef, bent my shaft, oh yeah, as expected. My dad. That thing's almost as big as that dog tooth. <laughs> So we had a little problem with our float. Uh, one broke loose, so Rory had to go to the rescue. Thanks, bro. Rory's doggy. Oh, look at that cut. Beautiful. Look like we got some visitors out at Ashmore. It's um, our last night here, and strangely enough, we've seen another little boat come in. What's happening? He's come from TI. Yeah, what about you guys? <laughs> Stay tuned as we leave Mare and decide to push the furthest we've ever toured to the most northern parts of Australia. Right near the border, we get some amazing weather and see some cool wildlife. Esso. Thank <laughs> you.